It has been nearly a year since the baby formula shortage started and parents are still struggling to find what they need. Fox's Lydia Hu is in Montclair, New Jersey with the latest. It's been reported that the baby formula shortage is getting better. Take a look at this data because just last week it shows that 86% of the supply was in stock and that is approaching the levels we saw before the shortage started earlier this year. But in contrast, if you look at this photo, it shows the shelves at the CVS pharmacy that's located just behind me nearly bare of baby formula. The chain says they continue to ration purchases of formula across the country. Meanwhile, social media Media groups and websites devoted to helping parents find formula are busy. FindMyBabyFormula.com tells us they've seen a spike in parents looking for help. They've registered more than 7,000 people over just the past couple of weeks. Parents we've talked to say finding formula, it's getting harder, not easier. Watch this. For us, it seems like it is only getting worse that no stores have it in stock right now. Um, within the surrounding area. Of One day I called 30 different supermarkets and then I've gone to supermarkets where they'll tell me, oh yeah, we have it in stock and I've driven the distance and get let down because they don't have it. It breaks my heart because it's like, this is our future. This is our generation. You know, as a great country we live in, we can't feed babies. Meanwhile, an independent report issued yesterday finds a lack of leadership at the FDA during the baby formula crisis has led to perceived constant turmoil at the agency. The agency's commissioner, Dr. Robert Califf, issued a statement in response saying plans for changes at the agency are going to be released in January, but that does little to provide relief to parents who need baby formula now. And that comes as the maker of the largest baby formula on the market, Enfamel, says shortages are expected to last through the spring. Reporting from Montclair, New Jersey, Lydia Hu, Fox Business.